Hi everyone. Uh, this will be an awareness video. Uh, I was looking some YouTube videos and what I came across in one of the video, one of the person, he is basically telling that one of his, you know, known person has recently faced that incident that uh, Capgemini, like, you know, he uh, got interviewed with Capgemini and he shared his document. But after that, he didn't join and he joined to a different company. Now, what he... Uh, like you know observed after that when the the second companies where he joined the background verification was going suddenly the background verification was read and he was not able to clear bgv the reason being uh, like you know that time also showing that he's already working with capgemini and, uh, so that was the reason uh, so since he shared the document uh, according to him that capgemini opened his pf and uh, after one day basically they actually closed that uh, pf account so it's only for one day that they were they was showing and since uh, he didn't uh, like you know display those information uh, during joining so his background verification was read now i'm not sure like you know how how this can be true i'm not really sure that whether this incident is true or not but since it is floating over internet so i thought let's make a quick video how can we refrain to do such mistakes i mean first i will tell you the things that you can do if you are switching for the job uh, how you can safeguard your urn and the second thing i will be telling you two companies name where you should be absolutely mindful if you are going to this company uh, like you know based upon my experience so first thing first don't share the urn so if and if people uh, like you know the companies are asking to scheduling an interview they usually ask for pan number you can share the pan number but don't share the urn number now the next case would be they will be definitely asking for the uh, uh, salary slip so in pay slip just blood the urn so do not need to blood the pf number it is not necessary but urn should be absolutely bar so blood so that is one of the thing that i think people should do while switching the job now one more point do not sign any pf document like you know pf beat form 11 or these kind of pf forms don't uh, sign it in well, well advance so you can like what usually happen once you join the organization the come the next organization will initiate a new fresh uh, like you know pf opening after 15 20 days not immediately they will take some time the initial processing is done ideally after 15 or 20 days they will initiate the pf account opening uh, as per their like you know organization what they followed and then in that is the reason in the very first month you won't get get like you, know, you, you won't see your pf number in your uh, paste it because it will take some time right and the second months or not you will get to see so what will happen a new pf will be opened and then that pf account will be linked to your urn number so that is the process it will take at least 15 to 20 days for a new organization to apply on behalf of that employee because they initially check whether the person has joined whether they have the person has cleared everything other uh, after that they usually go for the pf opening but there are companies i believe um, still like uh, there is a chance that somebody some employ employer employer could be uh, like you know get get it collected those signs and all they try to initiate the pff account opening that's what it is wise not to sign any pf document so you can let your employee employer know that you are not going to sign the pf document otherwise you can sign everything and definitely like you should you should blur the urn number uh, in background verification pre, pre joining or background verification process so that is the like you know whole thing by which we can possibly like you know uh, avoid this situation now which two company you should be mindful one is capgemini because uh, the news is there and again like you know after the incident capgemini was asking possibly 2.5 lakh rupees in order to remove their record like from the pf portal that is also uh, i mean not sure like how far this is true and the next company is tcs so tcs uh, collected all of the document lot of document lot of sign before joining before on board so if you are very sure that you are joining to tcs if you have an offer then only accept the offer provide the stuff otherwise don't accept the offer because if even if you accept and then later you don't join then you will be uh, blacklisted for the entire life so that is the problem with tcs and also capgemini because i also like one of the my friends also like you know almost similar situation when capgemini has given uh, his joining date was on 30th and suddenly he got a mail from 15th or uh, 12th 
middle of the month that you need to join today so all the joining formalities and all tickets and all everything he got so i believe like their pre onboarding team is not so efficient for some some locations so that is what we need to be mindful so just let me know if you have seen such a such a video and do, if you have uh, some thing to add on thank you